Ah! Ah! Did you fart? Yeah. Do 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 Na 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 na. Ben and Chrissy at Carbon Car Diaries. Welcome back to another video. Coming at you. As you can tell, it's the same attire. Well, I He's try to make it changed look like up a little bit. Day. And I'm freaking freezing. Well, that's so I'll do that. I've double hooded it. We've well, told him now, so it doesn't matter. No, not true. Bit of a random one today. Yeah, um. We've got a rattle. Ever since I had the car, really, I'd say, wouldn't you? Yeah, because no, you well, have to have an exhaust on it. Yeah, I've always had this very, very annoying exhaust rattle. What and you can see here. During that process, <laughs> we've already removed every I've removed kind of heat shield. All the is. heat shields. And it's still fucking there. And it's still there. So. <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> so, all we're going to do is fix a rattle today. Basically, yeah. So, so we're going to. It's, it's very common with the Jap Speed and the Tegawa, I believe, which are pretty much the same thing, I think. The, mainly the Jap Speed single exit cat back exhaust system. It touches on the back metal triangle, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Does. So, we're going to show you how to stop it doing that. So we're going to remove the rear bumper. Without buying stuff, basically. So this is yep. a free fix. You can buy, uh, like, firmer hanger. The poly, yeah, the poly the hangers. hangers. But, which we were considering, but if this fixes it and it costs nothing, then why the fuck wouldn't you do exactly. that? Exactly. Do you know what I mean? So I think we're going to remove the rear bumper today, which is something that Chrissy's never done. I haven't never done it. I, need, I might it. need the practice though because I would love to get the Mugen bumper for them. Oh yeah. Mate, did you see for sale the other day the guy that had the genuine front and the genuine yeah. rear Mugen and they were 1500 quid each I think? Yeah. Something like that? It's a lot of money but... That's like my whole month's wage. Very cool. So, as far as I remember, because I obviously took my rear bumper off mine, to fit my Mugen rear end when I had mine. So as far as I'm aware, I can't remember we've got to take these lights out, but I think we will anyway, just for the sake of two bolts or whatever it be. I don't know whether we have to, so we'll see. But, we pop that off, pop that off, pop that off, pop that off, undo those. And then, I think, there's just some underneath. I'm going to get a little bit of light on the situation. Christopher. Situation. A little, little bit of light on the situation. There we go. Yep. It's them off. Put them up there. Looks like, yeah, it's some. Are they they're not really plastic, aren't they? No, they're not. They're not? No, they'll be tens. Good old Honda 10 mil. 10 or a 12. Yeah. Might be a 12. The four of them, I think, there's got to be something in behind here, isn't there? Yeah, and the bloody arch trim. There's got to be something in behind that arch trim. I would imagine so. So, what we're trying to do, if you get your massive leg out of the way, <laughs> if you look in this here hole... Sorry, that sounded very Ed from some Apologise for that. You'll uh, see that metal triangle where the exhaust is situated. It's leaning against the metal triangle in there. So we're going to remove the bumper, get Gertrude the grinder out. Cut, and, cut uh, the See, I don't want to make the hole bigger. I don't want to remove it completely because um, I can't remember his last name, but Mark from that was up at Dino Days with us got the FN. Oh, yeah, FN2 Mark. Yeah. He has a YouTube channel. Go check it out. He, uh, he removed his and it literally melted his bumper. Oh, and removed it completely? Yeah. Ah, got you. So I don't really want he to be does, removing it. That is a track bar though, so he does literally just hammer it everywhere. It yeah, looks yeah. very warm. And his car's running some, is this like 230, 240 brake? 
Yeah, so it's two, three, five, I think, something like that. Yeah, so you put it over the ease of the chap yeah. that was tapping the hammer. Yes, that's uh, the, Not the hammer, the spanner. But Roberto! On the side of a Roberto who thought he had a knock in his car. It was absolutely <laughs> it hilarious. It was so good, mate. Brilliant. But yeah, so I don't really want to remove it completely, so... Hopefully a slight modification will do it. Yes, hopefully. Just going to get some carpet, if we can lie on. Ben knows how much this rattle has been doing my head in. Well, yeah, and I just had a little drive of the car as well, and uh, you can hear it a mile off. You can hear it when it's just sat there idling, to be fair. I'm going to have a little look under here, because I can't... Uh, yeah. I can't remember. Well, that's off. What? We've got to actually take off. So, there, yeah, there's one there. We have to take off. One there. One there. And four down the other end. So there's eight, I think, in total. What, the Honda Clip? And you have to take, you have to take your arch off as well. Uh, fuck's sake. Just a little bit, because I think there's a screw in behind. So, we'll do that, and then come back to you. Right, the bumper is off, so don't start it up yet, Chrissy. Oh, okay. Two. All it is, is, you don't need to remove the lights, I thought you did. So it's one there, one there, same the other side. You have to take, there's eight underneath that hold these on, which obviously then joins on with those. Then you pop the arch trim off, there's a screw there. Oh. And a push in. <laughs> Sounds like a wet bag. Uh, uh, <laughs> a little vent, so. Uh, and there's another one of them plastic bumper clip thingies in there as well. And then it literally just slads on off. Well, I'll tell you what I am very pleased to see, because mm -hmm. I've seen I've never had this bumper off, how clean it all is. Yeah, the crash bars all good. And one of these, if you haven't got one already. It's all solid. These are the little, like, everybody that works on cars knows what they are, obviously, but it's got the bit that you push in and then that's that's all that's holding underneath and there's a little one in, in there as well. So that tool is a godsend for those because you hook it in like so and then pop it out, jobs are bloody good. So yeah, we're going to just start it and see if it and see if it does, it always, on start up and idle, it was always really, really rattly. So it's got to be that, mate, it's got to be. So we're going to solve the, the <laughs> rear end rattle, which is that, which is horrendous on idle. If you're sat at traffic lights, it's like yeah. well annoying. But it still seems to be another one somewhere. But this is super common, so that's how easy it is to take your bump off. And then we'll show you how to acquire the tip off, whack it back on again, and then you shouldn't have no more rattle at the rear end. <laughs> Top pulley. Go on. There you go. It is 100%. Uh, is that one, is it? Yeah. Like wine. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, it's like a whistle. Yeah. Dino Day's full custom air intake, cold air intake. Lovely jubbly. Right, turn the bloody thing off, then let's grind this edge off. Yeah, it sounds like a pulley bearing or something, mate. It's like whining. Oh, it's gas out now. Right. Oh, Robster, I'm on the grinder by you. So it ain't gonna reach me. Oh, my. We'll spin it, we'll spin it round. So basically, yeah, the exhaust system rests on the inside here. So the plan is, well, you can either just cut down across like that, which might be better, Chris, to be fair, rather than cutting the whole area off, just cut it that side, cut that it side, in half, and then, yeah. And then around and come in that way. Yeah. And just, just remove cut out it. That, that section, basically. And then it, it stops it, because it, it literally rests to get that, and especially on startup and idle, it just. Yeah. It's so annoying. <laughs> so let's flip reverse it. Yeah, mate, don't worry, I've got this fish one. Oh, okay, then, yeah. Let's put the light. Oh, I can just hold it for you if you want. Oh, okay, I take a drive in. Yeah! Sweats again. Oh, he's sweat pant man. Sweat pant man. Oh, yeah, that was good. I think you just used some fucking normal pliers, you toy. Animal with a grinder. <laughs> oh, fuck about yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You just go down. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't fucking pull it right out. What? You're so heavy handed. Still for you, Kaylee. Enough, do you think? Oh, okay. Remove the fair old whack. Yeah. Well, we've got to do slide it on and have a look, boy. <laughs> Let's slide it on and have a look. Right, we've offered her up because we love a good offer up. And as you can see, and after cutting that out, there is a lovely free area above, around, side, and if you wiggle it, it literally doesn't touch anything. So that's how. You stop the rear end of your jap speed exhaust system rattling on your triangle. Right, right, right. So, that's, that's it. That's, so. that's it. But we don't know where there's still one more. There's a weird wine which I think is from a pulley. Yeah, that is a pulley, yeah. Or it might be the belt itself. It'd be worth just changing, changing the, the pulley and the, the belt. Pulley and the belt, I would say. And the, but there is something else There's that's still way. rattling. Sounded like it was sort of like this sort of area here underneath, obviously. The only other thing I can think it is is the manifold. Yeah, it could be, and people do say that they have a they have a rattly sound to them when they when other people have fitted them. So I think it might just be. It shouldn't sound like that, mate. Rob's got one, isn't it? Don't sound like that. Mm. It's got to be something to lose. Under strange. It. It's very strange. We'll fucking find it. Though. Yeah. So yeah, that's 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 that bit. I just thought we'd show you. We want to show you every every. Every process that we do, don't we, Christopher? We do, we do indeed. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Let's have a look at that bloody intake, shall we? So we've never really shown it that much. We obviously did in there. Look at it there. It's bloody handsome. Look at that. Look at Richie Rich's fabrication skills. So what I love is, is that it's all one solid piece of pipe as well, and there's only that there to join it onto the throttle body, and another one, obviously, for the filter. And that is it. 
She pokes in there, lovely light in there. Not you can see because it's so dark. So yeah, we're gonna get this all back together. Well, that's a wrap, folks. Well, she's back on. Reverse the process, obs. And uh, that's it. It's so much easier taking the rear end off than it is the front end. It's such a dick, the front yes. end. But yeah, we thought we'd just show you how to cure that annoying rear end rattle. You still haven't cured it. Well, we've cured that one. <laughs> that one's cured. That one in there. Bloody lovely. We've got in made for so fucking long. But yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. But and we've literally ripped everything off of there. I still can't bloody find it. So if anybody has these rattles that's got jack speed manifold, exhaust manifold, jack speed single exit cat back, then let us know if you had the similar issue or whether your yours rattles, you know what I mean, your manifold rattles or whatever, because I have heard that they can sound a bit tinny and rattly. I have heard that. So let us know in the comments, please. Because it's literally driving Chris mental. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> and don't forget, if you're not subscribed, hit subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Make our day. It really helps us. A little thumbs up. <laughs> Are you laughing at? You did. Why? It makes our day. It does. It's amazing what a thumb up can do. Not the bum. Just a thumb up on the, on the video. Mm. Right then, let's get it up in the air then. Well, we're looking for the other one, are we? Fucking right we are. Oh, fuck, mate, we ain't gonna find it. I you, said to, you said to me, we are going to sort it today. Oh, fucking hell, I'm not gonna stay here all night. What, mate, it's only fucking 10 to 2. <laughs> all right, we'll get it up and we'll have a look see if we find the other rattle. I bet we don't. Right, guys, this is an actual treat today because I've never known Ben to do so much work down the unit. Look, he's even done. I'll do anything, mate, if it involves a long pole. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's the side of my car coming apart. <laughs> it's, the, it's the fucking jack. It's the jack. It's the jack, mate. Uh, I don't even know what we're looking for. <laughs> we're looking for any sign of a oh, noise. Oh, look at this, though. Don't, yeah, don't film that. We got a rusty door. Yes. Oh god. Any one of our subscribers? That knows of anybody that's scrapping or has a Nighthawk Black Civic. Nighthawk? Nighthawk Black <laughs> Civic. Uh, let me know, How please. How do you want me to go? Well, high enough to get me under there. Oh, fuck me. Up to the roof, then, bye. Oh, you fucking. <laughs> such a cock. <laughs> Anyone who's scrapping a Civic, Nighthawk Black. Fucking, oh, you've done it again, then. Please let me know, because I love the door off it if it's mint, obviously. It's nearly bought so. another MX5 last night. Mate, there's quite a few MX5s around. There's a red one on there, and it had a hard top. I had a big wing on it and that, and this guy has been sat for three years and hadn't been running, but it was running before he turned his key off. And yeah. um, the hard top alone is worth more than 400 quid, and that's what you wanted for the car. And the comments was just like, yeah, like bet. a thousand comments. I'll pick it up tonight. I'll pick it up tonight. Bet, yeah. It's worth it. Plus, it had a real nice front bumper on it. It was it had a little bit body. Got to get on so quick. And it was yeah. It was in fucking. It was in the bay as well. <coughs> was it? Yeah. Right. First, I'm gonna think. First, I'm gonna think we need axle sand. So we don't want a dead, we don't want a dead Chrissy. I'm gonna dry. You know the fucking, the, um, where the, huh? where the cat is? Huh? It used to be. Huh? You got those little, uh, bolts in there. Uh, where the cat used to be? Yeah. You know the oh. blanking screws? Oh, right. I wonder oh, if one of them has come in. What are you talking about, mate? Oh, What do we need to start the car? Do <laughs> so we need to start the car, mate? See where this fucking rattle's coming from. <laughs> we found it. We found the rattle and we solved it. It was something ridiculous. So, obviously, on the manifold where the cat would be, you've got the two sensors, and one of them there wasn't done up. Was it Christopher? It's oh, probably no. the one that you tried to gun off. Or... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so, it was, I've tightened it up with a, with a spanner. 
about t two turns. Yeah. So when I, I bashed the bottom of the manifold, didn't I? Yeah. And you could hear this horrible rattle. So and then I was going like that on the sensor, and it was like. So we've tightened that bad boy up. We've got no rattle anymore. So we've got no rattle at the rear, no rattle in the middle. We've got no heat shields, no rattles. But we've got a fat pulley bearing. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> a weird one. Yeah, and that's. It's uh, like a when you give it some power, and then he's off. It kind of goes. Yeah. Gives this weird little whistle. But to which, be fair, they are they are known for going anywhere. They are. It's probably not the pulley. It's just the bearing which you can push out. Because well, there's no there's no actual play in it. It's hard to tell though with that on. Yeah. You, you won't know until that's off, but I reckon you, any money if you take that off, that will, that will ever slightly just go t t yeah. t t side to side. So I need to do mine. Yeah, so that'll be, uh, the same. That'll be next then. Get one Even then. that's a pain in the ass to do, isn't it? Well, I don't know. I've seen um, FN Lou's done one on his, oh, and a few other people have done them, yeah. So, so yeah, and then that'll be all the weird noises gone. Like, Sweet! Yeah, mate. There so we go. Happy with that. Very happy. I hate rattle finding. I'm lucky in mine. I haven't really got that many rattles in mine. Apart from the soft top. Yeah. Found them. This is well happy. He's just said that. He's more happy finding them than he is with the short shift. <laughs> yeah, that was, I know. Rattles do my head in. It, honestly. Do my head in. It's, it was so annoying because, like, I'm not blowing my trumpet because it's my car, but it's a nice looking car. And you go places and people look and you think, are they looking at the car or are they fucking hearing that I'm rattle? I'm wondering what that rattle is. <laughs> No, I concur. So, I yeah, I'm, I'm made up now. I'm happy. Defo. So, uh, so, yeah, sweet. No. So, yeah, that was just go. a little That's shit. That's how video. you take your rear bumper off. Yeah. And solve the Jap Speed single exit exhaust system rattling on the your tip. Yeah, mm. check that. Uh, if it does you work, it's my loose. <laughs> yeah, check them. <laughs> Not that we need, need them, but there you go. Oh, no. That's another story. Um, yeah, I, if it does work its way loose again, I think I might. Take the plug off the sensor, undo it, take it out, well, and then one of them now. put some, yeah. and then put some, um, put some Loctite on it, and then put it back in. Mm. That would probably help it, it work in loose. It but will. I think that's tight now. Real yeah, tight. Ben got his fucking <sighs> huge guns on it. I did massive. So there we go, guys. Sorted, mate. Shit video, but shit video. But at least you, you got, got to, to see us. Good to see our ugly mugs on a Wednesday it's nice evening. To just be working on the cars again, isn't it? Yeah. Car again. We don't work on mine. Mine just sits there. Feels away for myself. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, we've still got the old struts and springs, so we're going to put them back on because it sat so good on that. It that did. was the height we wanted yeah. on the coilovers, and we couldn't achieve it, so we're going to put them back on for now yeah. just to get it sitting nice again. And then she's looking at the same body kits, spoilers, all sorts of shit, so, and tighten up that engine bay. That's going to be a fun one to do because yeah. that engine bay is very it is. bad. Um, but we've had quite a bit of work done to it over the winter, the MX-5, to be fair, like the um, water pump. Lotus mm -hmm. gaskets and seals have been done on it. We just give it to our next door neighbour who did it all for a very good price because we couldn't be able to do it. Yeah. And it's changing the belts and stuff like that. And I can't be asked with timing and all that crap. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's quite involved in it. Yeah. So we just foot the bill on that one. But anyway, shit chatted loads though, Chrissy. We did Ooh, a little bit. Sounds like John Connor's outside. John Connor, the T1000. Mm, he's Great on film. his little Great scrambler. Film. Love that. Amazing film. First one's better though. That was Wolfie, what did she say? Something about Wolfie. What's Wolfie barking at, Mum? Oh, yeah. Wolfie's fine, dear. Wolfie's just fine. Your family's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How nice. How nice, isn't it, that? It's like that. Yeah. Through her mouth. Oh, like milk carton. Milk carton. Yeah, amazing. Anyway, Great film. thank you to our sponsors of Danny and Rich at Dino Days. You're amazing. Um, please go show them some love on all social medias. Yes. All the links to everything we ever mention are in the description. Don't forget to get all your discount codes for TGR, Toxic Knobs, Carbon My Ride. Tackle racing, there's, there's tons. It's tons. all in the outro and it's all in the description. Don't forget to check out CCT Car Care. That's going to be ramping up again soon. We've kind of gone a bit quiet with that just because it was Christmas and stuff, really, wasn't it? So, yeah. Um, yeah. We're sitting down and getting together again and we're ramping that back up again very soon. So there we go. And we've got some... Uh, exciting new products coming to yeah, CCD Yeah, we have got lots. There's lots going to be going on. We just need to get it, get it a going, don't we? That's yeah. it, really. Yeah. So there we go. Thanks for watching. We bloody love you. We bloody love you lots and lots. See you on the next video. Peace out. Bye bye. Bye bye. Jump on it. Na na na.